Hi, I'm Rebecca from DevourDinner.com. Join me today as I make cheesy breadsticks in the air fryer. Such a quick and easy recipe, you're going to love it. This recipe for cheesy breadsticks is a newer recipe on my site, at the time of recording this video anyways. And I'm really excited to share it with you. I came across it while I was traveling and had it at a restaurant and I just loved the concept of it and I decided to recreate it at home. It has become so much fun. So I wanna share it with you because it's so quick and easy. Now for this recipe, you need breadsticks or I actually have really enjoyed using these brioche hot dog buds. So I find them at Walmart, you might be able to get them at Sam's Club as well. But the reason I like them is they're not cut horizontally, they're cut right down the top so it'll open up. And you'll see why that's helpful in just a minute. So get yourself some breadsticks or these brioche buns. We'll also be using some grated mozzarella. I always prefer using freshly grated, but you can use the packaged grated cheese if you like. Just know that that cheese is covered in a flour mixture to help keep the pieces of cheese separated. So it's gonna melt a little bit differently, but it's not a problem. Then you'll want to use some fresh Parmesan. Now you could also use the kind from the shaker can, the finely grated that you would put on top of spaghetti. It'll work, but I do like the freshly grated Parmesan. Brush the rolls with some garlic and some onion powder and Italian seasonings with butter that we're gonna melt up and we're gonna use a pastry brush to brush it on top. So those are our ingredients to make these cheesy breadsticks and we're gonna do it all in the air fryer. We're ready to get started and I have our breadsticks lined out. I have melted the butter. It's about two to three tablespoons of butter with about a half of a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half of a teaspoon of Italian seasonings and some garlic in there. And I've mixed that all together. We're gonna brush that in these breadsticks. The reason I love these rolls is because they're slit from the top. So go ahead and take a minute and just open them up. They'll close, it's okay. But just kind of pull them back. Don't break them all the way through. But we wanna create like a well so we can stuff it full of cheese and all this yummy goodness. I'm gonna go ahead and brush the butter mixture right inside. It's gonna add some nice flavor. From here, you can do a couple of things. You can throw this into your air fryer and let them just toast up for two minutes. That will get the insides heated and toasted, which is my preferred method. Or well, you could just go ahead and stuff them and cook them all at once. It really doesn't matter. It's just the texture is the end result. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the air fryer at a temperature of 340 degrees for two minutes. This will just warm them up and kind of toast the outside before we stuff it. 340 degrees for two minutes. We're just toasting, warming it up, getting those insides just a little toasty so we can load it up with mozzarella cheese and a little bit of Parmesan. Now, get yourself some tongs, okay? Don't use your fingers. These are hot, they're gonna burn you. You know we all do it without tongs, but try. Okay, this is where the fun part comes into play. Let's load it up. Put the mozzarella on the bottom, you really only need just a little pinch, a couple of tablespoons. Make sure to get it all down in there. Now, if you like lots of cheese, load it up. If you just want a little bit, use less. Now we're gonna add a little bit of Parmesan. I like how the Parmesan kind of crisps up on the top, which is why I really like it. You could also, like I said, use the finely grated Parmesan in the shaker container. If you use the shaker, then what I recommend is making sure you have brushed the outer side of the breadsticks with butter so that when you shake, it sticks to it. Mm, so good. Now let's just brush a little bit more butter right on top. 
let's just put these cheesy breadsticks right back into our air fryer. We're going to air fry these at 340 degrees for another two to three minutes. Pretty simple. Our cheesy breadsticks are all done, so I'm gonna pull them out. Oh, they look so good. Oopsie. Another fun tip is to make these into little mini pizzas. What a fun snack for those little kids. You can take some of this sauce and line the bottom first, toast that bread up, add maybe some pepperoni or ham or salami, top it with the cheese and throw it in. Think of how much fun the kids will have if they make their own. Just an idea. Okay, who's ready for a cheese pull? I am. You see it? Look at that. I can't wait to dive in and I bet you want a bite too. Mmm. We have had so much fun making this recipe. We serve it with all kinds of casseroles, pastas, spaghetti, you name it. And it's just so fun. Mmm. You mean you want me to stop eating? Hmm. Okay, just a second. Oh, I just gotta finish this bite. Cheesy breadsticks. These are so fun. You know you want them. Just take a bite. If you've made it this far in the video, you're a rock star. You're my kind of people. I hope you've given this video a thumbs up and subscribed. I'm gonna include the link for the recipe in the description down below so you can make it too. Have a great day. If you've made it this far in the vis... Gotta pull down my shirt. Gotta look my best. Hmm. It would help if you plugged it in. The joys of having two kitchens. Well, not even really two kitchens. A studio and then a kitchen. Okay, we're back.